Climate change is an existential threat to people's lives. It is also reshaping countries' economic and trade prospects. The World Trade Organization launched a report at the Climate Change Summit, COP27, looking at the complex relationship between climate change and international trade. Let us share some of the insight with you. First, the effects of climate change, including increased temperature, rising sea levels, and increased intensity and frequency of extreme weather events, are going to lead to productivity losses, damage to infrastructure, and disrupt supply chains. Many countries are going to see changes in their economic and trade patterns, and this is particularly relevant for the agriculture and tourism sectors. Second, trade is a force multiplier for adapting to climate change. Although adapting to climate change will remain costly and disruptive, trade can reduce costs and improve access to climate resilient technologies and essential goods such as health and food products. This is particularly important for vulnerable economies. Although trade, like many current economic activities, generate greenhouse gas emissions, it also plays an important role in the transition to a low carbon economy. Our simulations show that removing tariffs and other trade barriers on energy-related environmental goods such as hydrogen, solar panels and wind turbines will help increasing exports in these products by 5%. It will also reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 0.6% by 2030. And it would also contribute to creating more jobs. The last important point, the report finds that international cooperation can make climate action more effective and make the transition to a low-carbon economy more just and inclusive. Unilateral and uncoordinated trade-related climate measures can end up creating trade tensions and imposing unnecessary huge costs. Conversely, trade cooperation can minimize trade tensions and support a stable environment for investing and deploying low-carbon and climate-resilient technologies. The World Trade Report 2022 on climate change and international trade is online now. Check the link below.